now here we are again on the margins of uh, some cleared agriculture, walking up a hillside past Vicellia Caven. Look at this. Look at these little uh, turd-like leguminous fruits coming to maturity, still green, and it's a uh, wonderful mimosoid here. Nitrogen-fixing mimosoid. See that? Look at that. They got the shit flies everywhere, of course. You know, right here on the margins of human development, we got a lot of shit on the ground, a lot of garbage. Occasionally, ooh, what is this? I saw this. This is, we have not identified this yet. Sticky glandular leaves covered in dust from the road. A lot of good stuff here. But what we're looking at, you can see we got fennel here too, of course. We got, we got invasive fennel from the Mediterranean. We got an artichoke. Ow, fuck as well what is it the mugwort i forget i see that thing everywhere i stopped paying attention to it it's all european it's all european bullshit artichoke which is sunflower family it's just a thistle no seeds yet but what we're going to look at here are these magnificent grandiose bastards a cactus adapted to the mediterranean climate trichocereus chiloensis and the host plant, oh, look at all the fruits, holy shit. A host plant for a really cool endophytic parasite that lives entirely inside the cactus, only coming out, only coming out to bloom when it, when it sends its red hummingbird pollinated flowers outside of the uh, aerials of that cactus. Look at it. We, we could get through that, Rubus. It's fucking mean. Is that the Himalayan one? What is that? It looks like it, yeah. What is this bullshit? What is this invasive pea again? Invisia, maybe? I just, I don't even pay attention to this shit. On this plant. We can go through there. Let's just, I, I'll cut it with my Leatherman. Yeah, this is, this looks like the same, uh, miserable blackberry that's ruining, uh, Northern California and Oregon. That Himalayan shit. They taste delicious. Oh, God. They taste delicious, but they're absolute, absolute nightmares. God, what kind of dumb asshole introduces Himalayan blackberry? Terrible. Is that a Muhlenbeckia? Polygonaceae? You know the polygonaceas when you see them. God, all right, here we go. It's up the sketchy slope. Yeah, don't got to worry about, you know, some monster Southern Pacific rattlesnake waiting for you at the top. Oh, look, they're... were they cutting this or what? Looks like it, yeah. Still, what a beast to behold. Look at that thing. I've grown quite a few of these from seed, too. I grew one just because I wanted to infect it with Tristrix. But it wasn't, it wasn't a successful inoculation. And really easy from seed. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look, there's Puya alpestris, it looks like. Not flowering anymore. They're the sight to behold when they are, but that's still a nice, a nice find. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you looking at? What are you looking at, huh? See, look at these rocks they put here for us. That's nice. Look at those fruits. You can see they're they're ready and the birds are just going to town eating the seeds. Each fruit has probably, I don't know, two or three thousand little black seeds in it. Just like poppy seeds and they're spreading them. You know when they're eating there, going for the white flesh, they're spreading them all over the ground. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Puya too? What a beast. They flower once but then they then they die, but they send off so many offsets. Really unpleasant to come into contact with, as you can see from those uh, serrated leaf blades, but they're fucking incredible when they flower. That whole thing will just be iridescent. If that's chilensis, it'll be iridescent yellow. If it's alpestris, it'll be iridescent blue. And then here, look at that fruit. Ah! Bunch of, bunch of seeds. All cactus fruits edible. Not necessarily palatable, not necessarily good, but edible. You can see the uh, aerials. Look at all the fuzz. Look at all the trichomes at the, on the aerial. You got a bunch of radial spines. One large central spine. Yeah, there's a fruit that didn't open yet. Not quite ready. These are all, those are all juicy though. Look at that. Yeah, look at that, verdant green farmland. Anyway, here is Tristerus aphila. Tristerix aphila. Loranthaceae is the family, the tropical mistletoe family. This plant 
These red things are flowers. This is a plant that lives entirely endophytically. It lives as an endophyte within its host plant, which is always a cactus. This species only parasitizes cactus. In this case, Trichocerus chiloensis. It'll also hit uh, the genus uh, Eulichnia, which you get further north in the Atacama Desert, as well as uh, some apuntioids, a punthioid subfamily like uh, Michelopuncha, but it, it doesn't seem too successful on the Michelopunchas, on the, on the opuntioids. It's mostly Trichocerus chiloensis and Eulichnia. But these are not blooming yet. When they bloom, four, uh, four or five, I think, it was, I think it's four. It's been five years since I've seen it blooming. Four of those petals, those are all petals that come together forming this elongated tube. They peel back and they reveal the stamens and the style inside. It gets hit by hummingbirds, then once that the uh, ovary is pollinated, it creates these little, these little fruits, these white things, which are also bird dispersed. Birds will come eat these, shit them out, and uh, they're like sticky glue inside, and you can see how they'll just stick to the epidermis of that cactus, and then it'll send a little radical out, a little, you know, root, a little primordial root, which will then uh, pierce that epidermis, enter the cortex, and then the plant will spend a couple years just living inside, parasitically, living inside the cortex of uh, this species of cactus, Trichocerus chiloensis. Then when it gets enough juice up, whatever triggers it to finally, uh, to finally bloom, it does this. And it sends these little red tubes out. Those are just little red flower buds. Kind of terrifying. A little bit of a, you know, H.R. Giger thing going on, but it's still pretty cool. All right, Pilostyles which is an unrelated parasite, is also an endophyte. It lives inside the genus Dahlia and other members of the pea family. So again, when these, these are not blooming right now, and they do bloom, the petals, those four petals that comprise that red tube will pull back, and you'll see the stamens and style in there, and hummingbirds will be hitting this thing. Dry season already. Ooh, dry summer, peak summer here in early January in the Southern Hemisphere. Look at the new growth on that. Look at that, that orange color, that beautiful orange color. The spines, which are just, they're dead tissue at maturity. You can see they're still alive at the base there where it's uh, a little yellow. Where they darken is where the tissue is dead. And look, you got, you're looking at easily 10,000 seeds on both those fruits. Five, to, probably five to 10,000 seeds. Now there's a Menzelia too. That's a North American genus. See those fruits, those capsule fruits? Look at how many goddamn hairs they have though. Holy hell, I've never seen one like that. Another cool thing about this puya is those, it creates those, those sterile branches that act as little perches to, uh, to give a place to, to rest for the birds that pollinate the flowers on these things. See how that, that looks like a little branch right there? That's a, that's a sterile inflorescence branch. Doesn't have, it doesn't have flowers on it. It's just, it's, it's, it's sole purpose is to act as a perch for the pollinating birds. Oh yeah, that whole thing. We've only seen two infected plants on this hillside. So, apparently, I mean there should be a lot more. Apparently the cactus has something to keep the parasite at bay. It's got some sort of resistance, or has evolved some sort of resistance against, uh, against this Tristerix parasite. And look at all those fruits. Not quite maturing yet. Oh, some are. Look at that. Look at look at those seeds. Holy shit, there's got to be 50,000 seeds, tiny little black poppy seeds on this hillside. Look, there's a little seedling. There's a little trichocerus seedling. Yeah, this is a Florenzia species, which is distantly, uh, actually, I think it's the sister genus to Encelia, which, brittle bush, if you know it in, uh, I think that's the common name for it, Inciencio in Arizona. Yeah, there you go. There's there's the the cipsula. See that? It's like a black sunflower seed covered in hairs, and then you can see the old floret, that little brown tube thing, uh, at the on the right side of it. You know what's interesting too is that most of them are uh, away facing away from the sun. They're coming out the side of the cactus that's facing away from the sun. I guess those maybe a little bit. The to the left is west. And then over here, you got a whole bunch of uh, lichen. Remember, we're close to that cold ocean, so we get fog here, so it gives uh, it gives nourishment to the lichen. I've seen some some cacti in the fog belt where they get the common chaka 
in Chile, I've seen some cacti just draped in like 15 different lichen species. Oh, that's nice over there. Look at that. It's all Vichelia caven, that acacia, and uh, a whole hillside of Trichocerus chiloensis. It seems minorly degraded. Oh, hey guys. I love burrowing owls. Look at you guys, what are you doing? You got a little hole down there you're living in? That's nice. How about that? I used to get these living in the train yard. Cute as shit, absolutely cute as shit. Yeah, hey, what? What do you do? What do you, what do you eat? You eating them little lizards and stuff, huh? Too bad you're not big enough to fly off with a cat. Don't look at me like that. Look at you guys, you got all kinds of different tubes in the ground right there. You got a whole little network. You're not even, you don't even care. You're not even paying attention to us. You've adapted well to the disturbance of uh, the human landscape. What the shit? <laughs> What are you, what are you looking at me like that for? What are you looking at me like that for? I don't got nothing for you. If I did, I'd be giving it to you, you know, if I had some little salditas or something. You know, maybe a sardine. I mean, what harm can it do? You guys are already living, basically living with people already. What a, yeah, he's a little melodramatic. I don't know what he's pissed off about. You ever listen to that Dead Milkman song? You know, you know what I'm talking about? 